everyone this is Iswadhyay Almato and in this video I am going to show you how we can apply different types of hole in a 3d model or geometry so let us get started go to start mechanical design part design click ok now select any plane go for a sketch here make a rectangle this will be our raw material and in this material we are going to apply different types of work so let us take as 300 this one will be 100 now go to exit button now select the option pad select the profile the pad height of length will be 60 check this icon mirror extend take a preview so now go to all operation all operation this one select the face on which you want to put a hole so go to type first we apply this simple hole then after we will apply this type of hole here so put it in simple mode go to extension select this positioning sketch and make this point constraint make 35 30 sorry and go for exit workbench and again go to extension we are here we have to apply the diameter of hole let us take 25 and depth will be 80 so at the bottom we will get this flat part if you won't want that one then just apply the bottom take a preview click ok and if you want to see the inside of hole just first of all put it in the isometric view now select a plane which is perpendicular to the hole profile now go to sketch and select this icon cut part by sketch plane and it will be so the interior portion of that hole now we will apply some more hole here and different types of hole whatever i talked previously so select the face go to type now we will apply the tapper hole now go to extension and positioning constraint it ok make 15 it will be ok now go to exit workbench now go to type uh, here we have angle 90 degree put it 30 degree and again we have diameter 25 and depth will be 80 take up the view click ok now we will apply again hole select the fish go to type now this time we will apply counter bore so for counter bore we have to give the this diameter let us take 35 and depth will be 10 now go to extension and positioning sketch make 130 click ok go to preview click ok so this one is the simple hole this is a tapper hole this one is a counter hole and now we will apply countersunk 
go to extension positioning sketch give this dimension 60 and I from here 70 now go to exit workbench now we have to give depth and angle if you want to give depth, depth and diameter and angle and diameter you can also do that by highlighting these options so now I will take depth and angle depth I will take 15 and angle should be 45 degree and in extension we have diameter 25 and depth will be 80 this time we want flat bottom part so take preview click ok so at last we have one more hole left select the face go to the type we have counter drill so go to extension sketch positioning ok to save the time uh, I will not make it fully constant just I will align with the axis vertical axis and I will move this point now go to exit workbench go to type here we have diameter is 35 depth will be 15 and angle will be 45 as it given so if you if you want to modify it you can also do that just go to extension we have diameter 25 mm depth will be 80 and again we will take flat part here take a preview so almost i i told you about five types of hole and to see the inside portion again i will show you just put it in the isometric view this part and click the plane which is par parallel to whole axis and go for a sketch and click this icon now we can see the inside portion of our hole so if you want to see it in the drafting mode so we can also do that one more thing i will tell you how to apply material here so just double click on the part body so that our part body will be selected and then after select this icon apply material go to any option metal painting shape let us take this one as a blue apply material okay if it will if it not so showing you the applied material then put it in this setting with material then it will show the whatever material we applied on that now for showing the drafting mode so just go to mechanical design drafting click ok now select this icon front view or either go to enter views projection front view now from window go to the part and select the plane for making the front view click ok so as you can see here it is not showing the holes or hidden lines to activate that one just right click properties go to here hidden line and axis line also you can scale it just put 2 is to 1 now click ok so now you can see we can see the interior for interior portion of this body to save it go to file save as desktop 
So I will be saving in this tip file. And desktop we have drawing lag to to save. So just open this part. If it won't showing, just zoom it. So this is our tip file of drawing, and this is our model. So thank you for watching this video guys.